What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Shadow Warrior 2! My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to blap on fools, blapping on fools all day long. I... Unfortunately, need to get rid of these Serpentors. In the previous episode, we have fought a guy called the Gatekeeper. He had actually taken us for a run. Every now and again, we get one of those fights that really, really sticks it to us and is a bit more difficult than the other ones, but most of the fights are pretty standard. Like, not to worry about it too much. I hit an ammo shrine, so we should be mostly reloaded right now. I'm going to try and make sure that every single gun is where it needs to be because there's no fun to be had and going into a gunfight ill-prepared and then swap into a gun and then not have any bullets loaded in the chamber or in the clip or whatever else that you're trying to use. And so I'm trying to make that not like a thing that's going to happen every single time I go into combat. Still, what are you doing over here? Just bunny loving? What's happening on that side? Sometimes you got to blow up a bunny. I ain't going that way because there's no point fighting fights. We ain't got to fight, but I bet it's going to tell me I need a key over here. Good thing, though, I already got the key because I killed the gatekeeper, and the gatekeeper's the guy with the key, so bam! Done. Open up that chest like a cardiac surgeon. I don't know how I get up top, but there's some stuff up there that I want. I may increase my projectile ammo next once I got some more skill points to play around with. I do think the nail gun's a really, really solid weapon. It's just that its ammo capacity is such that... Usually I'm out of ammo before everything gets cleared. Hey, Nelly birds, what the fuck? What do you think it is? Oh, I know exactly what it is. Those are the outer gates. This must be where they emerged into our world after the collision. And shit, look at this. You know what this is? Nope, but I have a feeling you're going to... Mezu's armor, after I knocked it off him like a little bitch. Who's Mezu? Oh. Just a god whose ass I kicked. No big deal. Ooh, do I get to hear another story about how awesome you are? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. You know what? I'm not going to tell you. I don't think you'd appreciate it. Aw, darn. You can only tell the stories of the people that are going to appreciate him. She's going to take that mocking tone after I kicked the ass off a of god. Well, I suppose there's just nothing I can do to impress her. That's just a lady who is impervious to my advances and my conversational topics. That's a big, mean-looking bastard. I don't really know what to do with him, but we're in tight core. Oh, goody. He's got a little thingy that he does, too. Oh, I shot his armor off. He's in the nude. Sir, cover your shame. Oh, we got the fire rate increase. Let's go. No, my fire rate increase. Ow. Done. Life is moderately good play with a badly written third act. Do all plays have third acts, though? Because that would be largely subjective based on the number of acts per play. Like, let's say that your play has, like, ten acts, then the third act is, like, somewhere around, like, maybe your mid-twenties, you know what I mean? Oh, Truman Capote. I like that film. Seymour Hoffman. Pretty good film. Came out when I was working at Blockbuster back in the day. High conflict individualist fancy speak for dickwad. Many hands make light work. Also, many hands open giant supernatural door. Ow! Oh, that was a sneak attack of the century. You guys are dicks. I need to kill something, like, right now. I'm gonna try and stay on him, but... This may not be the right weapon for this current situation. This might be a better choice. Just given how many there are. And how much damage I can potentially do to all of them. There we go. Use some of that good shit over here. Oh, I haven't reloaded yet. Hooray. Eh. I don't 
right. The shotgun will finish off the remainder, the opposing soul. And then we got one more hammer tail over here, whatever they're called, thorn tails. These should go down reasonably easy, though. They're not meant to be engaged by themselves, so. When they've got a retinue, they're a lot nastier than when they're all by their lonesome. Let me get everything reloaded for a moment. Alright, looking good there. A couple more rockets. That's gonna be lit up, and this door... Okay, so this door opened on up. Holy shit. What? Shh, that's Mezu. Oh, the guy you... The god I... We're super awesome at until his ass exploded? Something like that. I'm a master of ass explosions. It's a thing that I do well. When I task myself to a craft, I follow it through. I become the master of ass explosions. Somebody tells me he's not going to be super happy with me. Just a, uh... Just a guess. Some people never go crazy. What truly horrible lives they must lead. What are you? The Judgment of Enra. What is it, though? It uses projectiles? Hold on. We gotta take a look. So if it's a projectile weapon... It looks like it's a pneumatic, like, steampunk gun of some kind. How fast does it fire? Reload time, fire rate is one shot per second, so it's tss, tss, tss. However, if I could load it up... If I could load it up... With something that increases fire rate, I bet it would benefit tremendously from something like that. Eerie Soul Ammo Save Chance, that would also be a good one to have on it. Aspect of Peril, 10% more damage, Flute Critical Chance up, Hawking Component Incidents, Predator. Do I have anything of like fire rate, momentum, movement speed, no. Drill, that's not fire rate either. Looking for anything that does fire rate, clip reload time. That's not a terrible thing to add right there. We'll give it that one. And the frenzied spirit, miss rate, fire rate is down, so that's a bad one to take. Instead, max damage radius is up by 101%. Projectile splits, in, splits into pieces would be good with that one because the projectiles themselves, because it fires slow. But miss rate is way up. Yeah, miss rate, that would definitely hurt us. Damage radius, damage as explosion. But it lowers the damage as a whole. Let's go with that one right there. And then because I got rid of something with lightning. It might be a decent chance... To add some electricity to it, just in case. Ooh, that kick, though. It looks like it fires an explosive of some kind. Oh, okay, so it fires like Rambo arrows. Gotcha, and I only get two of them, so I gotta make them count. Well, let's get this shit over with now. Maybe he's not a vengeful god. Like, maybe he's okay with it. Some dope-ass armor. I'd rock it. In a heartbeat. I'd rock that everywhere. i go down to, like, the store in it. Just be like, give me my mini wheats. Hey, freak show. Long time no ass kicking. Oh, no way. Have you come by to gloat at my... Meager circumstances. Well, it wasn't my original plan, but now that I'm here, why not? It'll be like old times. I'm not sure why I thought I'd get sympathy from you. Some naive thought that you would grow up one day. Yeah, keep dreaming. Looks like your old stomping ground poked through into our world. How does it feel to be on my turf? I have tried to accept the situation with as much dignity as I can muster. 
<laughs> hey, zero is a start. Why are you still hanging around here? I am tasked with guarding the gates. The collision did not change that fact. I was sent to find out where the ooze is coming from. Looks like you have a little seepage problem there. If certain parties have not taken it upon themselves to disturb the gates, we should not be in this predicament in the first place. Oh, you mean my brilliant strategy to distract you while I kicked your ass? You don't comprehend the forces you're dealing with. If it were not for me, the gates would have opened that day. Humanity would have perished if not for my sacrifice. All oh, right, you're secretly a good guy. Slip my mind. Did the game just throw me off a cliff? Oh my god. The game just threw me off a cliff. And in the middle of Mizu's house. Or whatever his name was. That's fine, whatever. I didn't want to live any longer anyways. I had grown tired of this demonic existence. Mm. I don't know if I can respect a demon that's just all dour and upset all the time. I'm like, dude, you're a demon. What do you have to be upset about? You are a goddamn demon. Yeah, you know, ring that bell, buddy. Use this time to shoot you in your butt cheek, but sure. Not a bad gun. Not a bad gun at all. It gets rid of crawlers pretty simply, so. Ooh, got him! That headshot damage, though. You can put him downfield. Not a bad weapon at all. Trying to get him with those headshots, but he's not making it easy. Gents, I really need you to lighten up for a minute while I'm trying to land these headshots. Like, I understand. You're demons. You're upset. There we go. That's what I like to see. Get that big damage in there. Although, given the nature of the fire rate, we might be better served just going in like so. I'm not sure if he hit me with that bell or not. What is that thing? Oh my god. That's a big ass suit of angel armor. But that's probably the next fight, am I right? Got to be careful about this kind of stuff. And he brought out the tough homeboys. You got nothing to scare me with, pal. I got automatic weaponry. I'm glad that a piece of concrete tubing has worked out for you as a melee weapon, but don't expect me to fight by those same standards. Because I ain't going to do it. I feed you 7.62s and 5.56s. Oh, and Belly's down. Who's coming out of those gates? That has to be the source. It does seem likely. Hey, what is that stuff he was talking about? Last one. He was talking about the seals on the gates. Will you look to seal them again? I was sealed in the battlefield of improvisation. It's a fine line between brilliant and cowardly. Hey, a win is a win. He was trying to kill me. Do you ever wonder about the fact that you're the hero of all the stories you tell? I mean, come on. How likely is it that you are always... Uh, sorry. I gotta take this. <sighs> Moang, please return here with all haste. Zilla's men are invading the village. I believe they're looking for chemical. Your assistance would be appreciated. And by assistance... I'll be right there. We have to get back there. Now. No shit, lady. Teleport us already. Okay, just let me get a lock on... Oh... That's weird. I can't... I can't feel the statues in town. It's like they're not there. Doesn't matter. Just get us anywhere close. Okay. Nearest spot is... Um... It's gonna be a hike. Out of the possible, lady. Out of the possible. Hmm. 
Alright, so far our landing looks fairly safe. If I can just keep us trucking forward, we're probably good. It looks like we got something hidden over here, though. I'm gonna take a look. Ooh, big chest. Yes, please. Don't really need any of that stuff. A little bit extra cash, though, so I accept. I... Nothing up there either, huh? Disappointing. We have over here. What's the... F Why does the truck have arms on it? Like, what do the arms do? Are they for, like, pulling things, or... Is it just like a fancy man trailer hitch? Oh, good blood trails. That's always a good sign. All the best places to visit on vacation have blood trails running up to them. Also, rocket launcher bearing psycho beasts. Alright. going straight at the enemy here. We're going to play on the edge. And I think I would like you to be up out of my business while I reload. And then be dead also. That is a good way to transition from being out of my way to also being dead. There it is. So you gotta shoot his little upper lip, otherwise it don't work right. Gotcha! Man, that dude flew. Got some velocity on those bullets. Knocked him back. Alright, let me get my reloads on. And now that all reloads have been handled, we've gotta hope that we find ourselves a ammo shrine around here somewhere. Or that we pick up a decent amount of ammo from any or all of these chests. That'd be fine by me as well. I thought I saw Ledge right there for a minute. I'm always in the market to look for seekers. Dude, why are there giant black Satan hentai tongues extending up into the sky? Oof. We got problems. Sure. bit of cash a little bit of cash and we got a boss over here Whoa. that is a lot of soldiers when was the last time you saw him oh, probably got especially what Zilla's interested in don't worry from the looks of this I won't be your problem much longer from your lips to my ass Aw, look at you and your ability to teleport and your physical resist. However, you're not ex resistant to everything. Um, maybe I'll stick to this right here. We'll look for his soft spot. I don't know what his soft target is. Handle you guys first. So I ain't gotta deal with any more ninjas running up on me. Or you little bastards either, man. This thing's got spawn and manufacturing capability. A little bit of health. His shield is now down. And we feed it to him. Oh, he's down already? Huh. That was not quite so terrifying a fight as I thought it was going to be. The Fujin Grenade Launcher. Fire rate when you drive... Oh, cool. So that does electric damage. Might be worth swapping out for our rocket launcher. Might be worth it. I'll swap around a lot of my equipment and stuff like that later. I definitely... If anything's not being used right now, like the Yumi and the D-Volt, I need to get rid of the mods because I tend to go with the best stuff that I have. So I'll get rid of you, get rid of you... Get rid of you. There we are. d -Volt still got a little bit of goodness in there. Essence of Shatter can go. Component of Juice is in there, and that thing appears to be really, really good. Get rid of the Blazing Essence. That's down. That's down. Yumi. All right. Looks solid. Then we'll go back to our weapons menu here. And looking upon... 
The Fujin, it does a lot of damage. The Fujin's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get that equipped. I may also drop the Yumi now that I've got that. So let's go with... One thing at a time. I'm working my way through here. Fujin goes into five. And then we've got to modify this thing higher. Critical damage bonus goes way up right there. Core of Drain, Core of Keen, Vulnerability, Enemy Elemental Resist to be good. But I'd still rather... This thing just be as hardcore as possible. Flaking ammo would be cool. Splits into pieces. Each piece deals partial damage. That'd be cool. Like, I'd be okay with it. Or we can just go with more essence of electricity and just make this thing as shocking as possible. But I think I will go with the essence of shatter just to play around with that and see how it works. Meanwhile, our sixth slot could probably be tasked to something else. So we've got actually no pistols right now. Interestingly enough, I would say that we should just go with whichever one feels the best. And in fact, I would probably prefer to put that on two. That can stay... we'll put that on five. This guy right here needs his upgrades though. He's not going to be super useful to us until we put some better stuff inside of it. So as far as elemental am or ammo goes, we don't have anything that's doing... Like, we have absolutely nothing that's doing toxic right now. That's a chilling effect. is isn't looking super like toxic is going to be an option. Gets us a little closer, but it's still... Not the sexy point to which I would prefer that this gun be. 60 right there with Keen. Clip reload time goes up. Critical damage bonus is increased. Yeah, let's just go with that. I mean, I do love this gun. I can't help it. This is a sexy gun right here. Like, listen to that sound effect. It's just fun to shoot at people. Oh, look at that. There's one of you left. Not for long. Probably help if I could aim worth a damn. Headshots do some pretty ridiculous damage with this gun, too. Let's hurry on around the mountain bend. Just around the mountain bend. Just around the mountain bend. All right, so there's nothing over there. A little bit of cash, a little bit of medium bullets. Yeah, you like the headshot stuff, don't you? That's cool. Tick your health away. I don't care. I fire into the crowd because I don't give a damn. Ow. Oh, yeah. Let's try out this guy here. So this is like a single shot. I mean, it does pretty well, though. Like, given the massive reload time, I'm not super unimpressed with it. Oh my god. How many bullets can whistle past your ears before you just let me kill you? Alright, spray and pray. I give up. Keep those shots nice and high and tight. Well, that did not get nearly as many of you as I had hoped it would get. I was hoping it would maybe get like two or three of them and impale them upon my iron will. My iron sexy will. I thought he was trying to do a matrix move right there and dodge me. As it turns out, he was actually just dead and turned stiff at the wrong moment. As it turns out. God, I love you, Smith and me like with and smessing or whatever you're called we are looking a little low on ammo though it's time to fall back on the shotgun for a little while time to save the people of this world for I am the rainbow hero there's a rainbow over there G 
gentlemen. What's up? It's so good to see you. you gotta reload. It's a nice little ability for the disengage. I like it. Buys me a bit of time when I gotta do my reloadsies. Oh, I got my fire rate up. Hell yeah, let's go find somebody else to murder then. Always at the wrong moment with the fire rate up. Always at the wrong moment. Oh, it looks like it's going to be all kinds of a mess over there. So we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode. Shadow Warrior 2. I will see you all in future episodes. It's been a lot of fun so far. If you want to get the game for yourself, check it out down below. With that said, I'll catch you all on the flippity flop. Bye, everybody.